Hey, what's cracking everybody? On today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can install any desktop environment on Linux Hub Prime. So we are gonna use the regular installer. There's actually two ways you can do this. You can do this using the uh, custom, or you could just install a regular, uh, any desktop environment and use the full method. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the steps of you, of installing a desktop. Say, say for example, I'm gonna install the uh, open box desktop environment. And then I'm gonna use that to install another desktop environment on top of that also. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it. I have a fresh virtual machine up right here and we're at the beginning stage where we get the uh, warning about these uh, desktop environments. So I'm just go ahead and click on proceed. So on this next step, I'm gonna select open box. So I'll select open box and then I'll enter my uh, user info. And then uh, right here, select Arch install method. I'm going to select the full method. And you'll see why I'm selecting the full method in a second. So I selected the full method, then I'm going to click on OK. Everything else is going to go pretty much standard, but uh, we'll have all the options right here to put all our info in. All right, so I'll go ahead and click on proceed and just edit the items I need to edit. For example, in my case, I'm going to edit the disk configuration set up my hard drive all right i'm gonna set up the ext4 and the default and then i'm gonna go to back all right i'm not gonna do disk inscription i'm not gonna do bootloader i don't need to do a swap i don't need to do host name i already have the passwords and all that set up the user account so right here under profile is where i can set up another desktop environment so i click on pro profile then I'll select the type and then I'll select desktop. And from right here, these pretty, these desktops right here, pretty much uh, most of them you could find on the uh, on the Linux Hub Prime script, but there's a few here that are not. For example, like Cutefish, uh, Enlightenment, uh, i3, LXQT, those you won't, and uh, I believe Sway, those you won't find on the on my script. Well, for this example, let's go with the LXQT. I'll select that one. And then as far as the uh, graphical driver, I'll leave it at all open source. And the greeter right now set the SDDM. So uh, the open box that I have set up is gonna open up, uh, it's gonna use LightDM. So right here, I would probably change that to LightDM also. So I'll go with the LightDM GTK greeter. All right, and then I'll go to back. I'm done with that. I'm pretty much done with everything that I need to set up here. And then I'll just go to the time zone, enter my time zone. And then I'll go to install. All right, and from here, it's gonna go through the installer and do the whole installation process. And once we get to the point where we have to uh, reboot into our system, um, more than likely it's going to boot right into the system that you originally chose, which in my case, it was open box, but uh, it may go straight into LXQT. But if it doesn't, I'll show you how you could just uh, log out and then choose that desktop environment. So I'll go ahead and pause the video now. And when we come back, we'll take a look at the next step and how we install the uh, other desktop environment. Okay, our installation is now completed, so let's go ahead and reboot into the system, and I'll show you how to get to the new desktop that you chose to install. And the system has successfully rebooted. So right here at the uh, login screen, you wanna click on this icon right here, and it, it is automatically set up for the LXQT desktop. So nothing has to be changed there. You just enter your password and log in like normal, and it should be the LXQT desktop environment, and it is. And you can see right there, this is a LXQT, a virgin LXQT, no uh, alterations whatsoever. It's just, it's just LXQT the way it's uh, set up. All right. There you go. All right. And you still get your uh, control center that pops up and everything else. 
But another thing to note is that on this desktop system, the uh, builder is not going to work for LXQT. If you set up the builder, it's going to be for open box because LXQT is something you uh, installed apart from the uh, from the normal system. But you can see right here, this is the LXQT desktop environment. It's all set up. You still get the software that comes with a Linux hub. All the same software is there. It's just that you have a virgin LXQT desktop environment. And let me check this again. It is set up the way uh, LXQT has it set up. So when you open up the uh, settings, typically on Linux Hub, if you would click this button, it would open up the control center. You can see right here, it opens up that LXQT settings. So it's all LXQT, the whole environment. And right here, we can even log out. Let's do that right now. We'll log out. And then we're going to go into the open box, which is what we originally installed. And there we have the uh, open box environment. But you can see right here, doing it this way, you can install any desktop environment you want on Linux Hub. It doesn't have to be just the ones that I predefined for the system. You can put any any desktop environment you want. Now I'm going to show you another method where you can even, you can even even the ones that are listed on Arch install are not are not you're not limited to that. There's even more you can still install. So let's go ahead and get into that now. OK, so I got the ISO rebooted now. So we're going to click on proceed, go through the installation again. Again, I'm going to select open box. So I'll click on open box. And then once we get to here, I'll add my user info. Uh, give it our password root password and then select the uh, full method again then click on OK then from here the changes we're gonna make is uh, the first time we use the uh, the uh, the desktop the profile to set up the desktop environment but on this one we're gonna use another method and we'll get to that right now All right, so I'll just scroll down all these. So instead of using profile, which we used the previous time to install LXQT, now let's use additional packages. So here we are in additional packages. So let me just open up a web browser just so we can see uh, what it takes to install LXQT. Maybe just typing in LXQT will get it done, but let's uh, find out for sure. So from reading on here, it looks like just typing in LXQT. It's going to do the trick. <sighs> from what it says right here, first install and configure XOR, then install the LXQT group and an icon theme. All right. So we'll just try that. We just type in LXQT and that should get it going. Click on enter. It's going to take some time to verify all of these packages. And once it does, we can proceed with the installation. Okay, everything has been verified. So we'll go ahead and go to time zone, set up our time zone, or you can skip it. It's completely up to you. Then go straight to install. All right, then from right here, I'll go ahead and pause the video now. And when we come back, we'll do the same thing, reboot and uh, log into LXQT. OK, installation is now completed, so let's go ahead and reboot. And uh, this is the second method of installing a separate desktop environment onto our Linux Hub uh, system. So we'll run through the uh, installation, see how it works, see if it's the same as before, if anything's different. OK, and let's take a look right here. And it, it does have LXQT by default. So all you got to do is enter your password. And just as before, same thing. So this is the second method of installing a separate desktop environment. Like I said, you can pretty much install any desktop environment you want and have that desktop installed that we chose. And the same thing goes for this being that it is a separate desktop environment. 
the builder pretty much, if you use the builder to build a custom respin, it's going to work for OpenBox, not for LXQT, because LXQT is not part of this. But it's just for those that just want to install a separate desktop environment, you can do it. You can do it easily, and it'll work without a hitch. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this video here. I just wanted to show you that you can pretty much install any desktop environment you want using Linux Hub, any desktop environment. Uh, you could pretty much do this with any distro, any system, anything, but in most cases you would do it post installation. So once you've installed and then you get into your terminal and install it, but this is just doing it while you're doing the installation. That way you can have it done one and done. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this video and I'm out.